And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Endure Spiders. Now, this deck doesn't really have spiders anymore. It's, you know, kind of Elise and Vile Feast. Um, you know, it used to be um, based on the spiders a lot more, but that's just the thumbnail that I have is spiders. Really, this should be called like Endure Aggro. Um, I've seen I've seen it labeled as Endure Midrange, but this is not a midrange deck. This deck is just always aggressive. Um, you know, this is always like just the aggressive deck in the matchup. Um, but anyway, enough of the name. This is just a really solid deck. In the last like three or four times I've played against it, it has looked great whenever um, my opponents have been playing it. They've been always going with like Omen Hawk on turn one and doing all sorts of stuff. And Blighted Caretaker has been amazing and things like that. So I'm going to try it ourselves um, on this uh, rank up day. This is. Um, you know, good solid deck. I like how we have the one Sejuani up here to have have another top end card instead of one of the Elises. Um, Fury of the North is just kind of always devastating, especially when you can get ahead and be able to go straight to combat while you're ahead. Then you have some something to use your spell mana on and um, push that advantage. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's our deck. You've probably seen this one before. Let's go ahead and uh, try it out. You know, it's a deck that has gotten um, They Who Endure nerfed a little bit and Curse Keeper got both those cards nerfed a little bit, but still, uh, they're still quite useful and the deck is still quite good. So we've been talking about how like this format is a lot of people just trying to play bigger and bigger things and there's not really bigger things cards than they who endure right like they who endure is usually seven mana for a you know a 10 10 a 15 15 a 20 20 you know it, it is quite big so let's be interesting playing this matchup from this side we're gonna keep the bark beast Right? Not, not necessarily the best start, but Glimpse Beyond can help fill out our hand. And there we go. <clears throat> now our start's looking a lot better. not necessarily a, that bad of a trade for me. Block and trade these. Fight the signal fire. And now we'll have. Ooh, do I have the mana to be able to play Caretaker and still have Fury of the North up? I think so, right? Seven, perfect. Perfect. Um, that's a good question. So if you have, does Babbling Bjerg draw They Who Endure? We fight for one Freljord. I guess I'm not exactly sure. I would kind of think so. I would think so, but I'm not, I'm not 100% positive. Hmm. 
All right, chat saying pretty sure no, does not. So I could use Fury of the North to kill the 5-5. Five five. Do that or do I just play Helm and Hawk? I think I just play Helm and Hawk. So that Brittle Steel was just gain four life. I guess that's all they wanted with the Brittle Steel, I guess, is just gain four life. Not too useful of a card here. These stories were true. So I play Fury of the North to draw two cards. Do I want to turn this into a four me and a draw two, or would I rather have Fury? I think we'd rather have Fury. So the four three escaped abomination is gonna be my largest thing that has died as far as Callista is concerned. Basically, using Vile Feast to do four damage to them. They used Brittle Seal earlier to, to save four life. I'm using Vile Feast to do four damage to them. Hmm. Kind of wish I would have used the Fury of the North to draw two cards now. want to be drawn they who endures we of course can certainly have some frostbite cards that would mess up they who endure and mess up atrocity
Not great. Just a whole bunch of huge Avaros and Hearth Guards. Not great. Especially if they find the Trifarian Assessor. So, not great. What's up, Caster Gems? The big time raid. Welcome, everybody. We're currently playing some Endure. And then uh, you can kind of see the, the schedule up in the top left hand corner. I'm going to be playing a lot of different decks today. And that's what I do every day. Yeah, we got some got some good ones coming up too. Welcome, hoping y'all have are having a good Saturday. Omen Hawk. Yeah, we're just trying to outgrind Avros and Hearth Guards, which is not easy. See the downside of having drawing multiple atrocities. They they really are blocking Callista like every time. Maybe they are, maybe they are liking the the whole blocking aspect of. of Callista. From the savage cold. Yeah, this thing's an eight nine. Avros and Hearthguard, why are you so good? Bow to no one. This is a tough matchup for Atrocity anyway, like I was saying, because of just Frostbite spells. Like, if I just try Atrocity... ...something, they can just Frostbite. Uh, the deck that we're currently playing, I would, um, this is an, I would consider this deck an act. this is an aggro deck. That's what I would consider this deck. I don't think this is a tempo deck. This doesn't have any... Does it have any tempo spells? It doesn't really have tempo spells. Alright, found a they who endure. It's always like this is always just a very aggressive deck, and with Neverglade Collectors, Fear of the Norths, and Atrocities, this is just an aggro deck. It's not a tempo deck. A tempo deck you know, has tempo spells to keep the opponent off balance. You know, stuff like Will of Ionia. That's a that's a tempo card. This isn't. This deck doesn't have anything like that, so it's not a tempo deck. I don't think I keep Ravenous Butcher. 
I don't think sacrificing any of these to just get a 3-2 is, is worth a card. Alright, so we're playing against the deck that's trying to get lots of Anivias all the time. These old eyes still see trying to get Anivia after Anivia after Anivia. Weirding stones. That card's pretty weird. Dang. So we are going to be glimpsing beyond. Yuck. <laughs> like our two worst units to draw. Um... Yuck. I just, I just don't feel like that's a that's a really a good of a play. Man, they have a lot of mana. Weirding stones and catalysts. They got lots of mana over there. In Avarosa's name. So the other Anivia is going going to be um, going to be a Harsh Winds. So Harsh Winds again is pretty great against They Who Endure. I guess with me having the Ravenous Butcher, maybe I shouldn't play the. Curse Keeper to die. Ready the torches. With me having the Ravenous Butcher. A world in perfect stone. Exactly what sure Come on in. How we're beating like harsh winds and stuff. Not exactly sure. See what happens. I protect this place. All right, so the plan is Withering Whale, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what the plan is. They're probably going to be able to keep um, keep getting more Agnivias. What will you have? Uh, that would be my expectation.
Remember, they do have har at least one Harsh Winds in hand. That we know about. aren't doing anything. Alright, try to keep them from gaining the life. Because, of course, I want to get to the point where you know, they who endure is going to be big enough for lethal... And they have to frost. They have to um, use like harsh winds and stuff like that on they who endure all the time. So we have twelve mana. That is not enough for they who endure plus atrocity. But it is a sixteen sixteen. Yeah, Twisted Twain's really good. Yeah, that deck's really good. It, I know I didn't have the best record with it, but I still think quite highly of the deck. Come, come, this way. Me. It's not lethal through blocking. I know they have at least one Harsh Winds in hand right now. Snow, wind, and ice. I will be reborn. They do have enough mana for, like, Vengeance plus Harsh Winds. Is that worth it? I guess. 
Do they think that I didn't have that? With that really long game? Okay, well, got the win. No mercy. <laughs> People in chat say that they feel like they were just giving up. Maybe. I don't know. That was... Yeah, that was unexpected, for sure. I, I was expecting them to always have, like, Frostbite and things like that available, but... That was unexpected. Teemo Twisted Fate. I like it. All right, you get out of here. Um, that's, hmm. So my, you know, Vile Feast is for Teemo. Callista's good. These two are good. It's just Butcher. Like I can sacrifice the Spiderling to put a Butcher into play. Is that worth it? Obviously, if we draw Cursed Keeper, I'd want that Butcher. Alright, so turn one, Bark Beast, turn two, Vile Feast, turn three, Kalista. I'm glad I didn't keep that Butcher. Got another one anyway. Alright, so we can hold up Glimpse Beyond or Vile Feast mana. With that spell man, whichever one that we want. And next turn I can play Omen Hawk plus Caretaker. The sun rock got me good. Omen Hawk. Danger pay. There you are. Caretaker. Come, come this way. I didn't do nothing. No, no. Well, I guess we draw two. So they have one sea monster in hand out of the five cards from the Jaw Hunters. Good to remember that one. <laughs> yeah, that's that was a positive trade right there. Two Mystic Shots for Callista and Glimpse Beyond, but we draw two. Okay, so that Shipwreck Hoarder is gone. So much for them having a Sea Monster in hand. These old eyes still see far and clear. Do I sacrifice Spiderling for Ravenous Butcher? Now they drop Teemo and hit me. Or Twisted Fate. That's a big Callista. Dang. Some big callistas. <clears throat> I'd like to file an equipment request. Another late proof pen, Hawkner? <laughs> the homestead. Beg your pardon? I'll recite your rights. You don't have clearance. Okay, so I can I can cast Black Spear to kill Zevi. 
I guess I should do that. The problem is that gets rid of my cool 5-4 Callista. But, you know, we should probably kill Zevi. Zevi's pretty good. Zevi's pretty good. Whoa, homeowner! Extended that sub. Hey, that card's good. I was just talking about that card. Thank you, homeowner. First reset of the day. Let's see, through September, so that's August, September, two more months. You know what? I'm going to count that as two subs. So we get even closer to our sub goal. That's it. That seems fair. Oh, there's a new Avengers game that looks great. What's it like, Nanyol? Is it... It's like all action. Is it like adventure? You like go out and do cool things with, with the adventures. Oh, well, hey. That's... I'm... I'm happy I could, homeowner. I'm really happy I could. Um, homeowner said, just want you to know the stream has helped me pull through some really hard times. Yeah, I'm I'm here. You know, if you need you need anything, you need to talk or anything, you just let me know. I'm I'm here. And you know, they're in Discord and everything too. Life's not always easy. Life's you know we all go through our tough times in life for sure and really helps to have other people to help you out, so I'm always willing to take the time to help anybody out. Gonna go for a lethal with the Fury of the North, and it looks like we got there. Two and one. We, we have no mercy. Life's not always fair. Alright, so it comes out September 4th. But PS4 has a demo, and next week Xbox and PC get the demo. It's co-op missions action. Okay, so it's, yeah, so it's an action game with co-op missions. Okay, that sounds sweet. The game I've been playing a bunch um, co-op missions with uh, with a friend of mine is you know with with Boot. Y'all know him in chat. The game that we've been playing a bunch is Deep Rock Galactic. It's pretty sweet. It's you're like dwarves. Um, the, your, your dwarves in space, and you just go mine a bunch of space minerals, and you get, like, dropped off on different planets, and mine minerals, and do, uh, missions, and stuff like that, and your dwarves, it's pretty sweet. It's just a small indie company game. Uh, Vile Feast... So it's Deep Rock Galactic. I definitely recommend that one. And so the best whenever you have like four person missions and stuff. I may have to set up like a room for that in the Discord channel to get some more people playing it. Sometimes I question my cards like Fury of the North. <laughs> yeah, Fury of the I mean Fury of the North is super efficient. Yeah, I don't I don't know why that's burst speed either. Like why why does it have to be burst? I don't know. Um, Alright, so I'm not gonna let Mystic Shot kill Elise. You know, if I block Mystic Shot kills Elise. Don't want that to happen. No Mystic Shot killing my champions. Force them to use Thermogenic Beam to kill champions. Thanks, Elmer. Yeah, that's... Well, don't have a good turn this turn. We've drawn our top end. Out from um, yeah, not 
shocking. I don't want to see... I don't want to see Vi ne this next turn. Vi would be pretty bad. Please don't have Vi. Just have, like, removal spell or whatever. No, it would be slow. Yeah, you can do slow, but it's for Fury of the North. But it could be fast speed, I would think. I guess, you know, you try fast speed. I guess they don't want you to do your plus four, plus four. Like, you know, you have a 2-2 two -two and you try to Fury of the North it and they just respond with Mystic Shot. I guess that's a real, real feels bad. That's a positive trade right there. I mean, same trade mana-wise, I guess. We spent seven mana, they spent seven mana. On we both played two cards, and then we got to draw our two. All right, there's Curse Keeper Butcher combo. Alright, <clears throat> if they have another Mystic Shot, they got another Mystic Shot. That would kill my Ravenous Butcher anyway, so we'll just have... Uh, we'll just have that happen. Gross. Brood Awakening. I think it's okay that they can block Omen Hawk with with that. They, do, they who endure is getting a little bigger. Getting a little bigger. That one has the Omen Hawk plus. <clears throat> I mean, that just gives me a great block with Sentry on Elise. Say. Huh. We'll play one day who endure this turn, another one next turn. I still won't have the mana for the combo. Alright, no vengeance. Do they oh they have just enough for vengeance plus withering whale. Yeah, they have just enough for if they have Withering Whale here. <clears throat> I don't get to just like hit him for 13 and then have a safe atrocity because they could have Vengeance also. Maybe they don't have another Withering Whale. They already played one. Um, yeah, I've, I've seen this, I've seen this deck, I've seen a version of this deck with Hecarim, and the Hecarim did look pretty good, like, basically, instead of the Sejuani, it had Hecarim. 
could I could definitely see doing that. And that version that I saw doing that had um The version I saw with the Hecarim had Wraith Collar. And so that looked really good having Wraith Collar and Hecarim. Alright, what stops this atrocity? Nine I don't I don't think they have anything for five mana. I don't I can't really think of anything. See if they spend more mana. Okay. Three and one. Hey, that's that's not bad. That's yeah. What if Fury of the North was plus four plus two? Would it be? Would you make it permanent plus four plus two though? <clears throat> you probably have to, because you basically make it half of, you're making it half of Battle Fury, with Battle Fury being 8 mana plus 8 plus 4, but that's permanent. So would it be a permanent plus 4 plus 2 buff? That would probably be better for Elusives, right? Getting the permanent buff? But it's only 2 health. Ezreal, Twisted Fate, hello. Um... Look at all this stuff. I want. There we go. I want Sentry and Omen Hawk. I think Perma Buff would be too strong. I can see the Devastian border from here. <clears throat> It's not, I mean, it's not that much different from the, what, that one card that's, well, the Callista first, not really. Um, if you, like, whenever you draw it, the, that's two mana, the two mana, two, one permanent buff. Right, like if you, if that counts as like a two mana two one permanent buff, and then you have four mana four two permanent buff, eight mana eight four permanent buff. It's just a sliding scale between those. Why do they want to make this trade? Light the signal fires. Is that really a trade they want to make? So there are two thermogenic beams done. And I no, I wasn't talking about suit up. I was talking about the Bilgewater one, the card one, not pick a card, but the other card thing. I don't know, Ace of Spades or whatever it's called. I forgot the name, but. Pocket Aces, yeah, that one. The problem with going Omen Hawk, Omen Hawk, which is my better play, the problem with doing that, of course, is Mega Rain. I'm just like setting them up for, for a great Mega Rain. Plenty of 
Let's get to it. I won't give them a super easy plunder. So I can make they who endure a 10 10 next turn if I want. Kind of difficult for them to deal with a 10 10. But I'm going to wait a little bit. They, they kind of have to go like twist a fake gold card, probably. I'm going to have these 1 1s actually do some attacking. Riptide Rex. So buff up the Bark Beast plus two plus two. Sacrificing the Omen Hawk that will protect the Bark Beast. I'm trying to draw two that way. Rid of another mystic shot. All right, they who endure, do your thing. Um, play my other they who endure. Like, what's like their? What can they do? Like riptide racks? I don't know if I played this. 
best. Probably didn't. Probably should have vile feasted that urchin before. I want to do this now so I can have the uh, one one block the seven four. So we'll see. Um, see what happens. Yeah, Riptide Rex with no plunder. All right, GGs. All right, so we went four and one. Good record there. Lost to the Frostbite deck. Because, you know, they, they were able to Frostbite They Who Endure and then, you know, just use Frostbite on that and Sejuani and then use Reckoning. So we lost that one, but uh, cleaned up all the rest of them. Um, Fury of the North was all right. You know, it was fine. I don't I don't know if this should be a three of. I wonder if Collector should be the three of and Fury of the North be a two of. You know, just kind of switch these two. Maybe. But Collector is not great against the Culling Strike decks. Um but yeah, just an Omen Hawk, Avaros, and Sentry. Just this deck is this deck's just really solid. It, it can do um, so many things, and then we just saw like the Glimpse Beyonds getting us a lot of card draw um, as well. So like we weren't really running out of cards, and then They Who Endure is just super super difficult to deal with. It's it's really hard for so many decks to deal with this card. You know, if you're not going with Frostbite, uh, that's kind of about it. You know, you have like Vengeance also, but that costs so much mana. Yeah, this deck is really good. And yeah, this really should be called Endure Aggro. I just, again, I just have the Endure Spiders for my um, thumbnail, but this really doesn't have much to do with Spiders anymore. All right, but anyway, there we go. That's Endure Spiders. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments. Let me know if you've been playing this deck and if it's been going well for you. Because, uh, yeah, this deck definitely looks really good, especially in this world of people playing a bunch of Riptide Rex and Leviathan and trying to go bigger and bigger. Um, nothing really goes bigger than They Who Endure. <laughs> so still kind of weak to the Frostbite cards, probably. But besides that, especially Reckoning and, you know, the Harsh Winds Reckoning combo. But besides that, this deck looks really solid. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Endure Spiders, and I'll see you for the next video.